Alright, hello and welcome everyone. So, as most of y'all know, Fallout 76 was just released, or not released, <laughs> announced here a little bit ago today. And, well, people have been digging deep to kind of figure out what's going to be going on with it. And I've been talking with Draco and Stardust here, the authors of Fallout Equestria Falling Shadows. And we've been uh, kind of talking back and forth about what we kind of think's going on. So say hey, guys. How's it going? This is Draco. What's up, guys? This is Stardust. All right. So now that we know who everyone is here, I think we'll kind of go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to be talking about first what we know for certain about the game. And then we're going to be talking about speculation since we don't kind of want to intermingle those two. So all right, guys. Who wants to start here about what we know for certain? Well, I think Star Stardust was paying attention to it a little bit more because I was uh, stuck at work when the release video came out today. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, I had the uh, Twitch stream going pretty much all night just, you know, just in case something popped up, but I still fell asleep and missed it. But when I got up, I watched the video, and um, I noticed, like, you know, even before the video came out, I noticed aspects of the Please Stand By screen. Um, and people were speculating, you know, maybe it's Fallout 3 uh, remaster, which, you know, would would be pretty much useless because you know they already have lots can do it yeah lots of stuff. yeah and what i noticed is that there's actually color in the screen which is something they've never really done before it wasn't on a slide or anything and then when i watched the actual video i noticed some key aspects of old tech from the older games like fallout one and two like like the uh the terminal in the room and the the pit boy and then there's the music too, which is a little different. You don't, you didn't used to hear like, you know, maybe you know, '70s era country music in, you know, Fallout games. It's usually always been more like '50s and '60s. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Usually like you know, '30s, '40s, '50s, something like that. It's just classical, regular music, and which I like that change with, with the music aspect, and maybe you know, there might be different channels like say a rock and roll station, which would be awesome don't get me wrong but i at first i don't think it would fit the fallout demographic as well but i mean things are meant to change so and then you can also see that it's probably in a new engine too by watching the video well and, one thing i noticed in there most definitely was the when they give the quick um flash of the pip boy on there it's an older model pip boy oh yes so you know which you know, which we'll get to when we get to the speculation side of it, you know, I can uh, put my thoughts in for that. Um, but also in the video that Stardust pointed out to me, which I missed the first time, but caught on the second time was, um, it was at the end that it said, um, I forgot what, the, what that word was, but uh, uh, something about the, the, the stable is supposed to open and let people out. Reclamation Day. Vault. Vault. Yeah, Reclamation, Reclamation Day, Day yeah. sorry. You might, I might end up saying stable a lot. I'm, you know, I'm in the middle of typing another chapter right now. so It's understandable. So for anyone who doesn't know, um, stable is what in Fallout Equestria it's referred to as a vault. So pretty much if you hear stable or vault, they're kind of interchangeable here. So Or pit buck versus pit boy. So. Yeah, yeah. Pit boy, pit buck, you know, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> but which one is stable? Anyhow, that, that's all you guys got for the what we know for certain, because I have a list. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I know for certain that it's going to be in a new location because, you know, it's a new game. Oh, yeah, well, totally, totally. It's totally. a new location on each game. And, and like I mentioned like a little bit ago, probably a new engine, thank God, because, I mean, the update with Fallout 4's engine was good, but it was not great. And now right. that they have more popular 4K games, I'm sure that they updated it a little more and it'll look better, you know? course we haven't seen anybody's faces yet so they myself you know fuck out faces yeah <laughs> faces in bethesda games am i right guys yeah, yeah. Well, it's, oh, oh yeah. my god any bethesda game especially fallout one and two just hideous <laughs> they look like character cartoon characters <laughs> hey back right. when i was young when i replayed and that, i played that game they were not hideous they were cool <laughs> yeah I think they were cool too when i played the game so don't get me wrong <laughs> yeah, way back when perfect what, what was oh. your what was your list flagon okay so I uh I took the liberty of just like watching the video over and over again and kind of also grabbing data that we know about the vault from the other games and whatnot and kind of just compiled it all here. 
So we know, of course, that it takes place in either in Vault 76, or at least relates to Vault 76, since yeah. very rarely, I mean, he has a suit on his back, you know. Um, we also know that Vault 76 was what uh, vault Tech refers to as one of the control vaults, mm-hmm. which um, there's like a certain amount of them, and it's kind of like, it's not an experiment vault, it's kind of like something else, where um, it doesn't have as bad of a like outcome usually, but it still has a weird thing, and this one particularly, we know, was set to open 20 years after a nuclear war. So that means that Reclamation Day should have happened, um, God, what would have been 20 years after October 23rd, 2077, I think was when the bombs dropped? So that would have yes. been, it would have been October 23rd, 2097 is when that should have opened, right? Yes, that's what I was thinking too. Just past my 100th birthday. Yeah. So, first tear to my eye. We can also <laughs> see on uh, the Pip Buck, or the Pip Boy, whichever um the date was i think 2107 so it would have been 25 25 years after the bombs fell well, no, I, I got the picture on my phone right here i can look at it real quick uh, that, could, that, could have, that could have been the mess up on the uh yeah, 27th of october 2102 yeah a.m or p.m it doesn't it's in military time on those games, so yeah. Oh, so it's probably six thirty-four a.m. I have my own speculation True. on that one a little bit later on the date. Yeah. So that's all speculation next up. But we also know um, in Fallout Three during the Mothership Zeta DLC, there yep. was an audio recording number thirteen. I noted that down. Um, in which Giles Wilstoncroft or something talks about being a member of Vault Tech who was in the middle of, I think he was going to inspect Vault 76 when he got abducted. Yeah. So we know that. Yep. Um, and the song playing, of course, is John Denver's Take Me Home, Country Roads. Um, that's pretty much everything that we know for certain. Mm-hmm. So yeah. everything else usually, is just pure speculation. And you, usually the song that they do for the release one um, has something to pertain to the area as well. At least that's what I've noticed in the other release trailers. So, yeah, yeah, especially with like uh, New Vegas and having Sinatra on the radio and stuff like that. And also, there is one thing uh, that another thing that we do know for certain is that it's a very different kind of vault from what we've seen before. Because uh, closer to the end of the video, when you see the Reclamation Day thing on the back wall, you also see like there's a little soccer or football field at the bottom floor. So it's it's probably very big. If you yeah, look at it. I mean, the vault. The vault's probably big because we saw we saw golf clubs. I mean, before we go any further, we're we're going to the speculations part because we don't have yeah. anything here for certain. So that was everything we knew for certain. Everyone, everything yep. else here is just speculation. So let's start out. So yeah, like like we were saying, uh, there was a soccer field down there in the vault, and there was also um, in the bedroom scene there was some golf clubs. Mm-hmm. Looked like they were getting some use. So whether or not there's like a a driving range in the vault somewhere, or they were out in the wasteland using them, we don't know for sure. But, um, yep. yeah. But yeah, it's going to be shortly after the bomb spell, 20 to 25 years. And I'm thinking there was either on the reclamation day, there was an issue with them getting out of the vault. So it like was delayed five years or <laughs> they got out 20 years later and they've been kind of going in and out for the last five years. So either the game's going to start 20 years after and we're going to have like a little oh, let's leave the vault, and then it's going to be like five years later type of thing, you know? That's what I was uh, thinking as well. Or um, the other possibility is that they were told um, the day was supposed to be 20 years later, but they were, um, um, they, we could still say there might have still been an experiment vault Tech was doing, and they couldn't get out for another five years. I mean, we've seen him do more fucked up stuff than that. So, <laughs> in both vault Tech. Yeah. I mean, everybody remembers the Gary Stable. Yeah, I mean, there's vault. No, yeah, there's oh, no yeah. Gary's in this vault. It's control vault. <laughs> <laughs> so, so on that, um, I, I was actually kind of curious about how everyone would be accepting of, oh yeah, it's Reclamation Day. Let's all leave the vault. And usually, Vault Tech has this weird like thing to force their experiments to go through. So, yes. I feel like something weird has to happen. Um, to drive them out of the vault. Because there would be people who are like, I don't want to leave. I want to stay here where it's safe. 
because we don't know what's out there, you know? Yeah, we've always got those people in um, yeah. <laughs> any situation. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe they'll pull a uh, Blackjack Stable 99 thing and release chlorine into the air. Could be. Or um, they could just like have the, the machines like sabotaged and like they break after 20 years or something. Like there's like, yeah. a delayed timer on it or whatnot. But, but there are some things that kind of leads me to believe that they kind of left in a hurry. Um, if you remember that kitchen scene in the trailer, um, mm -hmm. not kitchen, it was like a dining, it was like a table with like food eaten on it, and there was like a turned over cup. Yeah. Um, since there were like a knocked over cup, it kind of leads me to believe that they kind of tried to leave in a hurry or something, or like something happened that kind of shook them up a little bit. Some type of emergency. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, if they were just leaving, they wouldn't, you know, rush out. It'd be something else like that, you know? Yeah. You know, the thing that has me curious, you know, of um, what you're, the main character you'll end up playing as, you know, the way he's suiting himself up, you know, almost like he's got, like, almost like any game, some type of mission in mind that he has to undertake, you know, it kind of gets yeah. me to wonder about that, you know, because he's, he's like, it's almost like gearing up to go into battle type of a, like a scene. That's how I felt as I was watching him put on his pit boy and, um, you know, getting himself dressed and ready to go out into the world, you know, so... You were watching it change. I was. I knew that. You sick pervert. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so since it does take place earlier than any other fallouts we've played or experienced, we know that mm -hmm. the wasteland is going to be like much, much like more of a wasteland. It's going to be like deadlier and darker and everything's going to be dead. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be like still like the uh, cloud cover from um, like the dust and everything that was kicked up. Yep. Probably going to be more ghouls, a lot more radiation since everything hasn't had time to, you know, die down. And yeah. uh, personally, I think it would be a great opportunity to have the founding of the Children of Adam. It'd be great. Oh, yeah. I would agree. I would could agree with that. Um, I mean, you're in the perfect area for it as well. Because, um, I mean, just by what we know about where the possible location is, you know, it's, um, you know, it's probably going to be more on the East Coast. Just be, I think, because something on Fallout 3 that mentions the vault. Um, in there about being in the region of DC, yeah, right. up. you know, so, um, but like, I was going to actually point out one thing I'm, if it is, ends up being an earlier one, like we're like, it looks like it's going to be, you know, there's going to be some factions that we're used to seeing in fallout games that are not going to be in this game, you know, brotherhood of steel for one, quite true. Because, you know, they're all on the West coast so they didn't go East until way later. Uh, super mutants as well. Yeah. I was just going to mention that super mutants, we're not on the East Coast or in the East area at all, like just 25 years after the war, because I, I don't think the master in like, you know, the original Fallout game, the master didn't start creating super mutants, like mass producing them for a while because he was yeah. still building strength and experimenting to figure out how to create them the perfect way. I mean, they're still not perfect because, you know, they're dumb to sack of fucking hammers, but <laughs> I mean... <laughs> And then you get the night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <but I> mean, <laughs> this the is crazy. Just, they're fucked. Just right in the head. Yeah, that, that's the one thing I, but I, my speculation I have with that is, you know, without no brotherhood around, you still want some type of power armor faction in there. And we all know that the Enclave started a lot earlier than even before the war ended. And, you know, I, I think that a big possibility is we might see a comeback of the Enclave, you know, for us gamers, at least. Oh, there, there's going to be the Enclave. There, there's got to be. Because it's, it's still some sort of government. So, yes. Because there are people who probably survived the bombs falling up top. Um, yes. In, like, homemade bunkers or something like that. But we're going to mm -hmm. see, like, a lot less dense of a population. Like, there's probably going to be almost no towns since... Uh, yeah. Yeah, nothing's been probably really the start, established there. Probably the starting of certain things you'll see in there. But, you know, that, that to me is probably the most exciting thing. And I would pro and if they're not in there, I'll probably be a little upset because I miss the Enclave mm -hmm. being in um in like the last couple games that they've released i have an idea maybe, maybe some of the people survived it surviving one of those Pulowski shelters you know <laughs> nuclear protection on a budget <laughs> really interesting. no 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 one no one survived in though that's the way you find a skeleton in every single one you open or cool well maybe or they cool. just couldn't get it back open or something i don't know maybe maybe, yeah, right. maybe there's gonna be yeah. a quest that like you hear banging at one of those shelters. Go open it, and you like free someone. And it's a companion or something, you know. Yeah. But, cool companion. Yeah. Another thing about the Enclave is their power armor that we've seen in the recent games, or like all mm -hmm. the games so far, 
it's new power armor. Like, it's power armor that was not, like, developed during the war. Because the yeah, Enclave cool. was development later. So I'm curious if they do have power armor. If it's going to be normal power armor that we were seeing before the war, like the uh, T-51 and the 45. Yeah. And that kind of stuff. Well, that's, that's what I would think you would see. Um, because, you know, they didn't have the, you know, actual Enclave power armor until later. Because, you know, like you said, they experimented with that later, right? We might be seeing some like testing stuff into new types of power armor that we've never seen, but maybe never made it. Um, like say Enclave, for example. True. You know, like prototype. They, like Enclave prototype armor. power yeah. armors and stuff like that. You know, something that's more better than the power armor you can get in the game normally, but it's not still, as good as what they make later in the game. You know, still experimental. You know, mid battle. You know, helmet might turn and break their neck for you. You know, <laughs> luck at ten. <laughs> So, I also want to point out, because I was scouring some stuff, I, I probably watched that trailer ten times, and then I also looked up stuff about, like, the vaults and all that. In the trailer, mm. there's a new drink. If you notice on, like, um, that one table with the, uh, the Unstoppables game on it. I don't think I caught that. Yeah, I don't think There's, like, a black bottle on it. It says Oak, H-O-U, is what you can make out. So... Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Oak House, like maybe it's a brewery type thing, like um, the, the stout from Fallout 4 or whatnot, but it is like a new type of drink that we're going to see. That would be kind of interesting. They always like to throw something new at us in every game. So oh, yeah, I, like I, Sons of Sarsaparilla in uh, New Vegas and all that. Everyone misses the Sarsaparilla. Yeah, no radiation. <laughs> drink you can drink safely. True. And then we were, uh, we were talking about the... Uh, the Pip Boy. It's an older model, and mm -hmm. if you actually look at the video, it's a Pip Boy 2000 Mark VI, mm -hmm. which uh, is a different model than what you see in Fallout One and Two, because um, like yeah, in, uh, in One uh, and Two, it's almost exactly the same, except for the screens on the other side. Yeah. Oh yeah. Before, but other than that, the color palette's the same. The uh, it's got those little uh, whatever those little tubes are called. Brawn tubes or whatever they are? I don't know. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The lit up tubes that you see when the radio first comes on. That's what you uh, see there. Those are on the other side as well, but it's all got the same kind of stuff. So it's not a newer model pit bucket. Pit boy on any means. Yep. <laughs> We're all doing it. <laughs> well that that that's uh it's habit. That that's one of the first things I noticed too, and I actually kinda like that idea you know, idea of it, it takes place a lot sooner than a lot of the other games that all the other games have, you know, it's, they don't want to pull it like star Wars where, you know, prequel, everyone has better stuff than they did in the actual movie, you know? So yeah. It makes know, sense. Back to what you would expect people to have back in those days. Yeah. Especially since uh, the other thing I think was 70 vault 76 that like you told me this Trevor um, was the, Oh, what is it called? Uh, that they went into the state uh, vault. Um, beforehand, beforehand, before the war ended, I believe. Yeah, or before the bombs fell. Was On the I think that I think that's what I. It, there was a um, a uh, ceremonial opening of Vault seventy six on the tricentennial. Yeah, yes. the tricentennial yeah. three hundred year anniversary of America or whatever. Yeah, they said they opened it, but the, when you think about them opening, the thing you have to ask yourself is: Was there people in there already? Because it was, you know, one of the control vaults, or was it empty and they just opened it just to open it? Well, I'm assuming if they opened it for, um, yes, tricentennial, um, they were letting people in to see it and all that. So maybe yeah. it was a situation where they were evacu or they were in the vault to begin with during the bombs dropping, and because of that, they kind of ended up being stuck there. That's a good. That's a big possibility. It may not even be a highly populated vault because if that if that's the situation too. True. Yeah. You know because it wasn't going to be open. I mean, closed for as long as um, the other ones are supposed to be. They wouldn't need a high population because they don't need to worry about you know inbreeding and stuff like. That. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Maybe twenty you're... years is just you know. I mean, as long as you're not too old, you could be in yeah. and out same lifetime. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of other people lived and died in those vaults. Yeah, and especially died. You know. <laughs> Most of the vaults in four years. Yeah. Now, you think about 
how many people are in the wayside? How the fuck are so many people when all these vaults failed? There's a lot of vaults that opened and survived. Yeah, yeah. like Vault 31 and Vault 34. Got and it. I mean, the vaults weren't the only way for people to live. Like, the Enclave went off short on an oil rig, and then yeah. uh, there's people who probably survived in, I mean, their own shelters that they had built and stuff mm-hmm. like that, or just... They weren't in a blast radius for an area, so they just kind of survived or something. It's like yeah. a bunch of people up or out, out where we live, you know, midwest. There's <laughs> nothing yeah, out here. <laughs> yeah, and also, um, there's there's also New Vegas too. The all the missiles were diverted or diverted by uh, Mr. House. True. Sleep for years and grew his awesome mustache. <laughs> His fabled mustache. <laughs> so, what do you guys think about where it's going to take place? Because everyone seems to be saying West Virginia, but I think that's way too obvious. Yeah, it's way too obvious. And what is in West Virginia? Nothing. It's it's what it's that it's a state that you you kind of forget about. I'm sorry to anybody that listens to this and actually lives in West Virginia. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> Jack Got to be quicker than that. Isn't West Virginia like a mountain state? Like there's like very yeah. high mountains and it's all like yeah, twisted roads mountains. trying to get up them? I, I think I agree with the area that it might be near, D- near D.C., which could put it either in Virginia or Maryland. Um, that would be my guess. I mean, I liked the other idea we were thinking about before until I actually looked up some of this stuff. Um, you know, I, I was because they did a country song. It'd be like it'd be awesome if it was in Nashville, but you know, because of what the Citadel said, unless Bethesda decided, oh, we're just going to move the vault. Um, yeah. You know, I, <laughs> you know, I, I that my best guess would be Virginia or Maryland, more than anything, because those are the two states that um, DC is around. And if the Citadel is correct, it would be near there. So maybe Baltimore. Or I don't know any Virginia towns. We've already been in Baltimore, and that's in Maryland, so... We're kind of going down the East Coast, and I think it's going to be an East Coast state or city or something like that. Yeah, that's that's probably the most likely thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I had kind of a blonde moment when I was uh, speculating earlier. Like, I was thinking that this... I mean, sure, they already had 76 in mind, but I had this preconceived notion that... um, Elvis died in 1976, which was actually 1977. It was August 16th, 1977. Um, so I was wrong about that. So there goes my theory. It's way out the window. He was, the, he was thinking like Memphis or something like that. Yeah. I, I got some wow. really, really weird theories here, guys. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've got plenty of them too. Guy, I mean, I, I had a theory earlier telling Stardust about was um i said just because it's starting at vault 76 doesn't mean that's where your character is going to stay yeah True. like um as i'm sure some of the listeners and you know probably you have been noticing is that um like for example games like grand theft auto you know they've been you know there's been rumors going around that you can travel to different cities from older games in the next upcoming game which is a popular theory and you know rumor and whatever yeah and i think that could be a possibility for this game but the fact that it was developed in three years um, yeah maybe not but and, i mean they could have been working on it while they were for like i mm-hmm. i you know they probably do so i want to talk about the development time here in a moment but i won't want to I want to talk about the location here for a little bit longer because mm-hmm. listen to this. So there's a a rumor about a leak that happened from a 4chan user. So you gotta you gotta be like, mm, maybe maybe not. But yeah, these are all the leaks that I have here okay. from 4chan. The leaks are it's gonna be like a Rust clone. And for those of you who don't know what Rust is, it's a um, PvP survival type game. Mm-hmm. Um, basically there, there's little to no content in rust other than building and pvp um, there used to be zombies but they removed them um, with fallout they could actually add like monsters and that kind of stuff to it which would be great um yeah but also from 4chan it's set alongside an interstate highway is what we've been told and the person who actually said this was they said it last year about six months ago and they actually said by name fallout 76 was what it's going to be called so, whether or not there's any truth, I don't know. 
But I looked at some highways and I found one called Route 76, which is going through the Carolinas and part of Georgia. So it's on the East yep. Coast. So I'm thinking maybe if it's along a highway, it's Route 76 that's going to take place at. Which is not a bad theory, honestly. Yeah. The Carolinas would be actually kind of interesting, too. I mean, you got, um, there's two pretty large cities in both North and South Carolina. Well, South Carolina's also got a really, and North Carolina, Carolina, both of them have really big military bases as well. I, I, yeah. think, I think Route 76 goes through South Carolina's capital. Yes, it does. It goes through, because um, when I was in, the, I used to be in the Army, and I was in South Carolina, the base. And um, it goes through, um, if I remember right, through, oh, I'm not forgetting the name of the word, Jackson. No, not Jack, it doesn't go through Jackson. It goes through the... Charleston, um, isn't it? Not Charleston. It's... Um, I don't remember. Columbus. Columbus? Columbia? Yeah, Carolina. Columbus, Carolina, I think is what it was. Anyway. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good possibility, you know, if, instead of just going, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I mean... Off of the uh, Route 76, like you were saying, I think that's not a bad guess, honestly. Yeah. Definitely yeah. different than any other game they've ever done. They've never done a South-based game before. True. And I think what really drove me to this was that the West Virginia song was way too obvious about being West Virginia. So I was like, okay, it can't be West yeah. Virginia. But there's also this rumor about it being alongside a highway. And the West Virginia song talks about country roads, Roads being interstates, maybe it's actually an interstate highway, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, I also have a really, really probably not correct theory at all. Um, so you know how the time is 6.34 on the yeah. Pet Boy? Um, so I looked up the area code for 6.34, and it's in Iowa. So I was like, oh, hey, yeah. maybe they're going to make an Iowa game. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... It looks like the time actually changes later on on the Pip Boy from the first time we see it, to like yeah. uh, seven minutes later. So I don't think that's going to be. Trust me, 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 me and Stardust would actually be ecstatic if it was either in either like Minnesota, since we live out here. Um, yeah, and hence, hence yeah. why our own story is is going to that area for a little while. You know, so we would be ecstatic if that was positive, if that was true. I actually just looked up uh, Interstate 76 on Google Maps on my phone, and it brings me to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Baltimore, Maryland area. Like going, like it goes really? between, like, yeah. I mean, I could take a screenshot of it and send it to you. It's yeah, it goes through Pittsburgh, so there's a good chance that it might be actually set in Pittsburgh, which. Yeah. I think it would be cool because we've been there before. It's Actually, very maybe nice. I had that wrong when I was looking at the thing then. Yeah, Pitts, Pittsburgh, I mean, they did the pit before, you know, and I could see what that was like beforehand, but I still like my idea of it going into Baltimore, just mainly because that if, if we follow what the Citadel said, Baltimore is right by D.C. Yeah. You know, and that so would put it in the area. Pittsburgh's not by D.C. Uh, Philadelphia, Philadelphia is. is. Yeah. So... Actually, I think I was looking at a uh, Route 6, 76, not Interstate Highway 76. So that might have been more of the confusion game. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe it's actually going to be up in uh, Maryland, maybe Virginia and whatnot. Who knows? It's like, uh, it's like, like I said, I, I was telling uh, Stardust also today, I said, as long as we're not with, um, with, a, with a hidden place with robots again. <laughs> oh, God. And mm. the queen paranoia of sense. Oh, God. Mothership data, you mean? <laughs> What's it? Mothership Zeta, you mean with the robots? Oh yeah. Oh, I'll take mother. I'll take Mothership Zeta versus the uh, versus the Institute again. I'll take weird testicle monsters over you know robots any day. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my gun. <laughs> so, speaking of uh, Mothership Zeta, since Mothership Zeta references seventy six, I think there might be a strong possibility we see aliens again, especially oh, since we're... under the TV there's a UFO figure thing model oh yeah well, they've done an alien one in three new vegas and um four so it's uh it wouldn't surprise me yeah, yeah. Then you get I, I think it'd be more than just a crashed ship this time around though yeah actually actually get to get abducted again we can buy the ship. or maybe like a, an alien invasion takes place at some point or something i don't know right something weird because i don't think it's going to be a traditional fallout game like we're used to yeah 
It I mean, may be, it may not be. I mean, I'd be fine with it either way, as long as it's not an enemy. That's odd, uh, yeah. Well, the thing is, they've only had three years since 15, right? Yeah. To yes. To produce this game. And anywhere from, like, from Halo... No, Halo. What the fuck am I saying Halo for? From Fallout 3 to Fallout 4, there was a good seven years, I think. Yeah. So if we put that here, it'd be, like, 2022 before we get the next Fallout. Which, uh... Yeah. Honestly, when I saw them announce it or, like, even put up that Please Stand By screen on Twitter, like, hours before they even did it, then had that live stream for, like, what, 13 hours before they announced anything? Yeah, 24 hours. Yeah, that was... Fuck yeah. Oh, boy. But, yeah, anyway, I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of weird. Because usually they... Well, it's been for me, at least, since 3, they've had, like, Morrowind, then I think 3, and then they've had uh, Skyrim, then Fallout 4. So they kind of, like, flip-flopped between doing those but since there's no uh elder scrolls in production right now mostly because of elder scrolls online um yeah it's kind of weird but yeah I, I don't feel like they've had enough time to fully make an entire game so it's, it's going to be something different than what we're actually used to seeing here it's also possible that they've um they've been working on this game in um in tandem with when they were working on four as well after they were done with uh, new vegas I mean, that's always a possibility, especially if they already had the engine that they used before, and all they had to do was just improve on that engine. It's a lot easier to do than to improve on the former engine from 3. Yeah, and then there's also advances in technology over the years, too. I mean, yeah, they could do a game faster if they they wanted to. The the question will be, how well will the game have been done? But um, it could have, but like I said, they could have been working on it longer than from when the release of 4 came out as well. True. It's a very good possibility. Well, actually, if uh, if you look back on the uh, but that's the showcase when they announced Fallout Four, um, Todd Howard himself said we're working on so much stuff. You know, like we're that's always right. working on stuff. I mean, you you kind of reminded me of the CEO of Apple when doing the keynotes. Just we're working on everything, and it just works. I mean, they they did announce um, Rage Two. They are working on what is it, Starfield, mm-hmm. Star or something. It's Project Star something, I don't know. Yeah, it's one of that thing. And then, I mean, so Rage 2 is a confirmed game that's going to come out, and we, we know pretty much what it's going to be about since we've already had our Rage. Um, yeah, and then, I actually need to finish that one. <laughs> I never finished playing Rage 1. Oh, they oh, need to... I loved Rage. It's kind of like Mad Max. Fun, really. Yeah, um, I know. It's like, I, I got a kick out of it because like, it's taking Mad Max and Fallout and putting it into one game. That's how oh, I kind of yeah. looked at it. Oh, that reminds me. Um... If it, it, another thing to think about is if it, 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 you know, being 20 to 25 years after the war and then leaving the ball, um, there's probably going to be a lot more motor vehicles still operational at that time because it's, they've only been, like, they haven't been sitting for 200 years. It's only been, like, maybe two decades. True. Do you know, um, to the right of the TV, there was that army jeep and there was a motorcycle figure, too? Yep. Oh, yeah. Be I, I, I can always spot a motorcycle in games. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So before we go any further, I just want to let y'all know the other like rumor stuff that I've heard. So from Reddit, yeah. we have um, someone said like the game was going to be based around base building elements, so it wasn't going to be like an RPG type thing. Um, and then mm-hmm. Kotaku, who you always got to fucking take a grain of salt with, um, said <laughs> that it's going to be an online game, and supposedly it started from a prototype of an online Fallout Four. We also know for a fact that Bethesda Austin is working on the game. And they were the ones who were working on the cancelled game called Battle Cry, which was a yeah. multiplayer PvP type game. So we might be actually looking at something that might be kind of like Rust, where you have basically spawn somewhere, build stuff, and then kind of fight off things, perhaps. But that's kind of my theory about what we might be seeing. Yeah. I mean, so the way you explain that, I mean, personally for myself, I'd probably get bored with something like that really fast. I mean... Oh, yeah, it, it might just be Bethesda testing stuff out, seeing what they can do here. But, um, yeah, kind of like Rockstar did with uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 and the uh, three different characters. Yeah. Game city. Oh, three characters for one game. Okay. Especially if they're using the same engine as they used with Fallout 4, because, I mean, they don't have to invest money in producing an engine. They can just, you know, toy around with the one they got. Yeah, yep. like, oh, look at this. We, we've already got something, so we ran ahead of time, like, like you pre record. <laughs> it's like how I, how I look at it with, um, with, uh, 
with when it comes to testing and stuff, you know, I thought that's what they were doing with the Elder Scrolls Online. That's their way of testing out the MMO system with their with their stuff. You know, um, if they want right. to push it into Fallout Four, you know, my personal belief, you know, that if for a smart move as a company for them for, to be because Fallout people and and Elder Scrolls Online or Elder Scrolls people, they don't always like. Not everybody plays those games. Both those games. Some people play just one or the other. You know, if you come to their how Fallout people are you know, most of them are not going to be happy for a MMO game, but if they wanted to test that out, it'd be best to have a regular game and then have an online option attached to it. Kind of like they used to do with Assassin's Creed. True. You know, just to give it a, to see how people like it before they release a full game for it. Right. So it might kind of be like something where like it's an offline mode where you can kind of yeah. build your stuff and like do some quests and roam around. And then at times you can like maybe get on a server with other people and, you know, defend a base against other players and stuff like that, or work yeah. for a common goal, something like that, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of like uh, the Need for Speed games in recent years have been fired online games, but uh, the one that was released in 2015, the reboot game, uh, there's actually an option to go from all drive it's called, um, to play alone, where you can just go from online where you're playing with other people. That's bad. Is that what you're getting at? Yeah, I think he was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He plays, but he gets to play more games than I do. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm usually busy working or um, at at my actual job or working on the story all the time. So yeah, and mm. I have, so I'm a loser. So <laughs> <laughs> your job is to edit stuff for me and yeah. work on the story when I can't. And drive roommates to work. It's so great. Right? Start chart. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the task at end. I'm yeah, sorry, Blake. Yeah. Oh, it's not a problem, guys. A little bit of banner is always fun. That's yeah. what we do all day when we're working on stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's, it, like when we're choosing chapter titles, that's the fun part. It takes as long, sometimes it takes longer to come up with a chapter title than write the darn chapter. God, I know. I hate titles. They're, they're awful. <laughs> well, that's why I'm I like, just, let's just part, part one. Fuck it. It's just fine. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, if you've been reading the, ta- the titles we've done like quite the last what. 15 to 20 chapters we've done they've all been music titles so oh, yeah, we've been so. uh trying to it's, it's we're trying to find a music title and a song that actually matches what the chapter is going to be about that makes it a nightmare oh <laughs> that, with that. that's depth it's fine yeah, that's true anyway like we said back to the task at hand <laughs> back to the task at hand so if you also look under the tv i don't go back to the tv a lot but there's a lot of stuff at the tv there's a um a scout magazine under the tv that we haven't seen in games since I think the first two Fallouts, maybe there's like a Scout magazine thing there. Yeah. And since the game is so, it's set so early after the bombs fell, I think there's going to be like a heavy focus on survival. Maybe we're going to see a a return of the Scout magazine to help you like get a survival skill. Maybe there's actually going to be a survival skill. Maybe you're going to be able to like trap and hunt animals and stuff again. Yeah, that would oh, actually yeah. that would actually be kind of nice. Yeah. See that or some sort of fucked up fallout thing or you know a scoutmaster custom man yeah, it's gonna be gonna be cabela's fallout 76 <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> just you just hunt that's all you do gotta survive <laughs> oh gotta go kill yak whack oh yeah go break into like a pro true a pro shop pro shop or yeah. something like that mm-hmm. or reset. set <laughs> that's um, the other thing actually when it comes to scavenging i'm actually wondering a lot easier find stuff oh yeah there's gonna be stuff all over since it's, it just happened unless of course there was people nearby um who survived and whatnot but yeah but that, that's kind of my point i'm thinking that you know like things mm-hmm. like, like you see nowadays you know you got the shops and you know with all the hunting equipment and stuff like that i'm wondering if that'll be like places you can scout and find specialty weapons and things like that. yeah and also uh there's like department stores everywhere you know Marts probably have like tons of food there that doesn't expire because you know food never expires. In- <laughs> yeah, well, most food, not crap most. anyway. Unless you go to like the Edomatic or whatever. Yeah, and then you find that moldy ass plate of <laughs> stuff in there. <laughs> Cooked bads. <laughs> mm, dude. Yeah. So, if you guys watched the uh, the trailer. Right at the beginning, in the bedroom, 
If you see mm. that blue backpack, it's got dirt on it. Yeah, it, it's I, I dirty saw as fuck. That. So Those, I watched it again. I noticed that it back. Yeah, so oh, okay. there's something either you're moving in and out of the vault, or maybe someone came into the vault who was like a traveler because that hat looks pretty dirty too. Yeah, and your vault suit looks pretty pristine. Maybe you just picked up a new one. I don't know. Um, well, you did just see that washer and dryer in there too. So maybe you just took true. it out of the wash true. and it was all nice and warm. You know, like like all the clothes that come out of the dryer. Right. <laughs> what is um in Fallout Four? What's that vault with uh, Curie in it? Eighty one. Um, Eighty one. Yeah. 81. Maybe it's an eighty one situation where they decided to open the doors to the vault, but still live in the vault and explore out and make civilization like that. Keep they keep the vault. They stay in their vault, but they open themselves to the outside world. Yeah, yeah. something like that. They, that would not surprise me either, especially with it being a control vault. You know, they would have mm-hmm. a lot less fears than you know the people that grew up in them for two hundred years, like in the other game. Right. They they actually know what's on the outside. But yeah. What really stood out to me in the trailer was where is everyone at? If yeah, it's reclamation was totally- day, did they all leave? Did something happen? Yeah, that, that's another that's weird, weird thing I was thinking about. What character is in the vault. You know, what if something did happen and he's like the last one and he's putting himself together to leave? Mm-hmm. Or maybe your character never was in the vault and he got in on, on Reclamation Day and found everyone dead. That's always a possibility too. And he's just putting on the stuff he found in there like, oh, this is better than I was wearing. Or, or he, or he on killed that point? them all. Yeah, you know, we talked about off. the dirty backpack and the dirty hat. You know, what if he broke into the vault, either killed people or everyone was dead, and he's putting on the vault suit in the pit boy? You know, like, oh, this will make this this will be a good thing for me to have. Very true. Alternatively, everyone in Vault seventy six left to reclaim the outside world. Left the vault That's open. True. No one was inside of it. Our main character comes in. It's like I'm gonna scavenge. He scavenges stuff. So we're not an actual vault resident. We're just someone who scavenged stuff from the vault. Because, I mean, towards the beginning, beginning of stuff, too, there's a very possibility that, hey, you know, most people wouldn't go digging into vaults because, you know, they don't think they can get in. It's not like later where people realize a lot of the vaults failed, so they, yeah. they break in and try to find what they can. But if you see a vault with its door open, I mean, why not walk on in? Yeah. Maybe our, our guy's just an idiot and just goes, huh. That door's, cl- that door's closed. I'm going to see if it opens. It did open. I'm going to look around. My intelligence <laughs> is free. <laughs> Shadow? No. <blackjack. laughs> well, Blackjack, yeah. <clears throat> yeah we're, we're not cutting out or anything while we're talking. I noticed that... No, I think you guys are fine. Okay. okay. The green ring keeps flickering when I'm talking. I'm like... <laughs> yeah. Damn. Well... The only other thing that I have on my list here is um, release date speculation. So, yeah. I was, uh, so I think the Pip Boy says October 27th. Does that mean we're going to get a release date of October 27th? Maybe. Maybe. Possible. Mm-hmm. Or they're going to tease us for a year and a half for waiting yeah. for another, uh, next year. They're not also, rockstar. Alternatively, <laughs> since the Pip Boy does say three. Or 630, 634. What if that means how many days until it's released? Which would put the release date at February 23rd, 2020. Yeah. Uh, it's possible, like you said, with it only being three years of development. Yeah. If development. But you the know, thing about they, that they, is yes. Bethesda does like to be like, by the way, in a few months you can get it. You know, yeah. they like to keep things yeah. hushed until right at the last minute. Like Fallout Shelter was like, by the way, tonight you can play it. Yep. You know. Yeah. And I did. <laughs> Same. That I gave up after like two days. I have Dude, a I, I completed everything in that in Fallout Shelter. All the quests, mm-hmm. all the, like, maxed out everyone I could, and then I had nothing else to do, so I stopped. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far yet. I never have the time. Oh, man. I, I like, mean, binged it for, like, a few days. <laughs> I played it quite a bit, like, for the first couple days, and then I just kept going back and forth i'm just like eh, this is not doing it for me i mean i I don't play much mobile games anyway i mean there's really only one that i stick to and that's really just the my little pony game loft game Mm -hmm. 
and like Fallout Shelter, like I would send them out on missions and they would die or table dogs would like die or get sick or something or something would break and then I'm like, fuck, now I gotta either pay for something to fix it or have to wait this certain amount of time for it to get fixed. And- well, you should know by now that the wasteland will always come to get you. Right. Yeah. It- what I yeah. ended up doing for that is I didn't let anyone leave the vault until they were all like level 10 special across the board. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. So they never died because they couldn't die. Yeah, was great. I've only got three people on my group that I ever send out to do thing because oh, yeah. of my highest level people, best strength, and they're the only ones that have power armor. So. I think I had six because six was like, no, was it nine you could send out at a time? Because you could throw out, send out three. Send, you could send out three um, per quest. Yeah. But you send yeah. out three people per quest, but then you could send out like a couple different groups of people to different quests. Yeah. It was either two or three, I don't remember for sure, but yeah. anyway. Yeah, but that's all I know about Fallout 76 at the moment, or what I can speculate. You guys got anything else? Well, there was something I was thinking about. I lately forgot, now that you mentioned it. <laughs> is, um... So it goes. Well... Yeah, I got nothing. Oh, um... The interior of the vault. Um, like I said before, it's different than a lot of the other vaults, especially in 4, where they look like the inside of like an industrial building. Yeah, it's well, more clean and homey. But like, uh, you see, like where a window would be in the like, say from good night to good morning, weird stuff like that. And you can see, like, say, say like an ACE unit in the vault in the uh, the wall. You know, it it's they. It seems like they've added a lot more like depth to it in a way. So it's more detailed instead of just being a cut and dry vault. Got doors, beds, and bathrooms, and kitchen. That's it. You know, there's more stuff. Well, yeah. I mean, it was the vault tech employees that were supposed to be in that vault, so it wouldn't surprise me if they gave them more luxuries than they gave to their experiment vaults. Yeah, and lore-wise, I mean, it was for the uh, tricentennial, so it would make yeah. it look good for that. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I. I did think about this too. Um, they incorporated Ron Perlman once again as the uh, the, the guy doing the announcement for the uh, tricentennial opening because he's always in. He loves. It. They just need to bring him back as the war never changes guy. That was Ron Perlman. I and they need said, to bring him back as changes. Part yeah, that's the true. beginning. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get Ron yeah. Perlman to do, um, do an announcement for for Fallout Crusher stuff sometime. <laughs> <laughs> God, He's a weird guy. Yeah. Oh, he did play Hellboy. Sure. I guess there's one other thing that I have. The TVs are in color. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. Like, what? Fuck. That is a little weird. Yes. Everything else was black and white up until now, and now we have a, a color TV. And the uh, the please wait screen that they were using was color too. That's really weird. Yeah, but unless. maybe it's the fact that uh, it's a higher end vault, so yeah. Vault Tech employees are given the latest technology, which is color TVs and stuff. Technicolor! Yeah. Now with Nuke Vision. <laughs> Don't sit too close to the TV, kids, they'll get cancer. <laughs> True fact. <laughs> it's just, I thought that was just if you drove your car too fast. No, let's see if your hand is bigger than your face. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, right. I'm sure we could speculate different things all day. Oh, about yeah. the, it would just it would just take time, but the nice thing while. is hopefully if they follow their normal routine that by I think it was a Tuesday their announcement is. Yeah. So we should hopefully know something by Tuesday. Well actually I think it's um June tenth. Oh maybe. Yeah, maybe they, they did just tweet out something about uh see something June tenth, but uh yeah, the, the the is okay. that when E three is? I forget. Yeah, it's coming up. I know that. It's supposed. Yeah. I think it's. I know it's next week or the week after. Let me look it up. Usually they do it a week before. This when they do this type of announcements. So. E three is June twelfth through June fourteenth. So Bethesda's going to be doing their announcement for Fallout seventy six before then. Oh, okay. That Weird. isn't following the normal then. But at least they will know soon. They just they just want to get it out there, especially after they made us wait yep. twenty four hours. The right here it says showcase. It says B E three showcase June tenth at um, six thirty p.m. Pacific time. 
I got to work that day, so I'm really glad it's at that time because that's like right when I get off work and I'll be home. So that's nice. Good. Hopefully, at a specific time, I'll definitely. So if they say, hey, it's ready for pre order, I can run over to GameStop. So. (laughs) Well, if you're not home, you'll just make me run over there because I'm a little lap dog. Well, I drive a semi, so, you know. Yeah, well, I can fly. You can just do stupid magic, so. This is how this is how how work gets done. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually watching the uh, sh- the the video right now. Their thing without the sound on. So yeah. I'm wondering what's up with that trophy case. That's another thing I'm wondering about. Well, there was one trophy in there that said something like, um, "Thank you for your service in like testing canned meat or mysterious canned meat or something like that." Yeah. <laughs> so maybe it was like awarded to someone who was like outside the vault who was like. I found this canned meat. I'm not sure what exactly it is. Uh, should we eat it? And some guy was like, fuck yeah, I'll eat it. Let's go. He just wafted it down. I'll eat it all day long. I'll eat that shit. You know what it is? It's, it's stuff posing as me. Oh, no, I can't say that because that's, you know, it's, it's trademark. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> so they call it cram. Yeah. There's cram. Oh. And then uh, the, the other one, I think on the middle shelf, um, it said something about like thank you for um keeping our isolationism or something let me actually pull it up hold on okay never mind i can't read that from this fucking video (laughs) i had like a 4k video open before and i was like yeah it's beautiful it was something about like isolationism or isolation or something. So it maybe they like went outside or like no fuck this and came back inside or something. Possible. Hmm. We'll see. See, because of that backpack and that hat, you know, that's why I'm still thinking that it's possible with the uh him breaking into the vault. Yeah. During that during that trailer, something was outside and something came back in. So yes. we know that Ten- much. Yeah, but I mean, because if they're showing the vault, there's nothing, there's no one in there. It's almost like, like you said, like everyone just kind of left in a hurry. Yeah. I see a red solo cup on, on the table next to the bed. Yeah, they really like their solo cups. Yeah, they maybe, they, uh, yeah. maybe they maybe. had a little bit of a tainted punch or something. <laughs> maybe they wanted um, to cut, maybe they t- an occult started in there and they all drank the Kool Aid. Hey, hey, oh, here's a thought. Oh. What if they uh, put like radiation tablets in the, in the punch? And then they uh, became the children of Adam, huh? Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Because I think the children of Adam is one of those ones we don't really started. I mean, yeah. I, 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 have a, I think they started in Megaton is what I'm thinking. They didn't. I, I looked it up after you said that the first time. And uh, Megaton was like founded in part thanks to the children of Adam. Yes. But they were existed before then. So no one's really sure where the children of Adam come from. Interesting. Something we didn't mention earlier, uh, next to the TV, is a is bottle and cappy from yeah, I know Nuka World, and also there's True. a whole uh, rocket behind it, and then down there, there down uh, under that, there's you know the Vault Boy bobblehead with a uh, Mr. Handy um, figurine, I guess you would call it, and then some uh, other enclave I bought down there too. That's all stuff from pre-war, oh, though. Wow. I mean. Nuka Cola yeah. World was a huge attraction before it and all that stuff. So it makes sense that they have like kind of trinkets from there. Yeah. Yeah, but who knows? Maybe we might see another new Nuka Cola that we haven't seen before, like we did in Fallout 4 with, you know, uh, Nuka Cola Dark and stuff like that. I mean, true. It was supposed to be like an exclusive for Nuka World only. I mean, who's to say if it, if it stayed there? Because I'm sure people have come and gone from there. 200 years and probably took some with them and then got shot and then got blood all over the bottle and somebody grabbed him and went, oh look at this you know stuff like that crazy shit. yeah i've seen a few more rumors going around here like dramatic about it being a possible online survival rpg which i really hope that's not true not true oh you retweeted it from uh, another one thing that's probably why but still that's it's yeah. just I just, I personally hope they're not going down that direction. I mean, I'll still play it, but yeah. I, I'll be, I'll be sour about it the whole time. I wouldn't mind it. I would, I would play it. I like those survival RPG things. 
or like it's all it's survival stuff. I just, like like I said earlier, I just never have time for certain types of uh, true, true. survival RPGs. I never, you know, online, I never have time to do that kind. Of thing. Something else I'm curious about is on the computer terminal uh, in the trailer. It says you are invited with a little animated envelope. Yeah, is that supposed to be for Reclamation Day or? I don't know. When I first saw it, I was thinking, oh, it's, you know, someone being invited to go to the vault. But I was like, wait, no, because they're in the vault. So it's got to be yeah. like Reformation Day or something. Yeah, I can see the, that uh, overturned cup you were talking about with that, like, half-eaten food, too. So, and then, I mean, outside the window, you notice that there's, like, balloons everywhere. So maybe they left the vaults you know hurried when they were celebrating for reclamation day because something bad happened like you said before True. somebody let it fly in <laughs> yeah i mean it might have been a situation where vault tech had like something in the vault that was waiting to get out until 20 years to kind of make them leave i don't know well, like i say you want to scare people out of a vault just send a death client yeah Everyone yeah. Them free. or some side of some type of weird parasite you know yeah, vault tech I mean, is so good. Cool. They wow. already Died. genetically modified an animal to become a death claw before the death bombs even dropped, and then just yes. like hit it there, you know. <laughs> well, I think that when were the death claws and um, created? It was before the war. It was before I the war. I don't think death claws were genetically modified. I think they were like radiated or something. No, they they were ge- they were genetically modified. Um, and um, radiation is something that made them stronger, and then they just ended up escaping from the lab and then constantly breeding, creating just masses of them like right. rabbits. The death the death calls we know from the games are the same ones that were created before the war. They were but they, they, they were still deadly, just not as deadly as they turned into. Yeah. Okay. Oh okay. It looks like they're um mutant of the Jackson's chameleon created through genetic engineering with the addition of DNA from various species. Mm-hmm. However, due to the mutation, they lost their color-changing ability, and then mutation and radiation fucked them up even further. Cool. Yep. Until you, until they decided in four to bring back the chameleon. Yeah. <laughs> Hated fighting those things. Get the alpha albino. Yeah. They brought so death many different claw. types of death claw. You're just like, oh my god! Like they weren't deadly enough. Like every single <laughs> prefix you can add to this thing, add it on there and fuck them up. Actually, the, to be honest, in Fallout 4, I thought it was actually easier to kill Death Claws than it was. Than it was in the other games. Yeah, than it was in New Vegas and three, and actually one and two also. Yeah. One and two. It was probably because they were less janky in Fallout 4 than they were in three and New Vegas. Because yeah, New Vegas AI true. was like they'll they'll run around, jump behind you, jump through you, weird stuff like that. Yeah, they, they I mean they didn't just have like one move and that's it. They weren't you know one shot Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the uh, the Death Claw and Fallout Four were definitely bigger than the other ones. Oh yeah, yeah. Somewhat, and they weren't like as skinny for their heat boxes. They were like large, square type thing. Yeah, yeah. They were definitely more terrifying. I can I can say that. It's just a little oh, yeah. like so it's a little easier to kill them, but it was easier to outrun to run away from them and get and get far away shots on them than it was in the other games. Right. You know, they, as fast, I should say. Yeah, it wasn't like, shit, cripple the legs, cripple the legs! Where's my dart gun? You know, it's, no. God, I miss, I miss the dart gun. <laughs> yeah, so do I. And just, all you need is a rubber, is a rubber a toy car and a paint gun? I can't remember. It's been for so long. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to the possible weapons coming in this next game. Because they introduced new weapons in four. I mean, pipe. the pipe weapons. I hate those. But yeah, they were a new weapon. But they also had uh, a new, a uh, new look to the ten millimeter pistol, which was refreshing. And um, you know, other various new weapons, same as the older games. Like uh, the Goss rifle was also different, which I actually didn't like. And I hope they actually get rifles like bolt action rifles right like as, as everybody notices in fallout 4 they're all left-handed by using it with your right hand so you're punching yourself in the face every time you reload which is really <laughs> stupid i mean put it back on the right side make it make it correct 
I want to uh, see him bring back the pulse weaponry and the uh, plasma yes. casters and stuff. Oh yeah, I agree with you on that one. Oh, Same here. So good. Oh. I remember, uh, I think it was one or two getting those, and you were just like, "I'm just gonna roll everyone over." Great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, there's a mod for one and four. Yeah. Or <laughs> e- even also like a weapon of mass destruction. To like, uh, I know they kind of toned down a bit the um, the the fat man in Fallout Four. I mean, I would like it better if they made it, you know, powerful as it was in the other games, and also incorporated a a type of weapon similar to uh, the rangefinder in uh, Fallout New Vegas. But I think that was more of a city an idea. Uh, than probably a one shot thing. Yeah. yeah. Unless they're going to have, like, you find the, the rangefinder somewhere. It's like, oh, hey, look at this. Yeah, you don't buy it from some kid. Yeah, you just, like, I'm find curious, it. I'm curious, if, I'm curious if there's going to be a mysterious stranger in this one. Yeah. Well, actually... The mysterious like, stranger has his own story to him, and, and you know, it's... A, a, I, I don't think he would have been around back then. Maybe he's seen more. <laughs> Maybe the mysterious stranger isn't a person, but a name. And it just passes down through the lines. I don't know. Well, I've seen a lot of theories when it comes to Mysterious Stranger. Yeah, I mean, that's what makes him the Mysterious Stranger. No one knows yep. who the hell he is. Yeah. Maybe I should just never reveal who our stranger yeah. And people are like, come on! Maybe in 76, we are the Mysterious Stranger. It was a gig, you never know. Aha, uh-huh, yeah. yeah. That would, see, that would actually be really cool. Yeah. Savior of the Wasteland. <laughs> I mean, there, the was that, uh, there was that Desperado yeah. hat on the bed, too. Or... Sure. Yeah, yeah. Now that, you think, now that I think about it, yeah. You heard but, it here first, well, folks. Confirmed. We are the mysterious stranger in Fallout seventy six. <laughs> Get your mysterious roll over now. Be your, be your ultimate weapon, shot kill. <laughs> you're like the cult from Supernatural. Just it kills everything. <laughs> I and mean, there's like five things it doesn't kill, and that's probably like worst things. But oh yeah. Whatever. You only get this many bullets for it, like the uh, like the alien pistol. That's why I'm glad we have mods now. <laughs> oh yeah, it always sucked getting the alien pistol and like, oh, I'm out of ammo. Great. Guess I'll just uh, go listen to box. <laughs> First time I ever got that pistol, I um I didn't know that you couldn't get any more, and I used it for three hours. I was like, this gun kills everything. How come I can't find any more what, what ammo for this thing? <laughs> Damn it! Now yeah, it's useless. Yeah. Well, and then I mean, you you did kill all the death claws in the. So, dead. That's true. But that's kind of worth it. I mean, it'd be more worth it if you did the ones across. Got the. Uh, I'm talking about three though. That's the. No, I'm I talking about New up. Vegas. That's the one I used it. All. Well, you used it all up in New Vegas too. Yeah, well, that well, no, in three because um, that's before the release of uh, Zeta, so you, before you can actually go get more web. Yeah, but that was still limited too. I mean, if you had some sort of less crafting instructions, that's tough. <laughs> so mods are for. Yeah, that is what mods are for. What do, do you think there's going to be mods in the wagon? Um, of course. First of all, um, can't have a folly without mods. If it is yeah. one of those element crafting games like Rust, there are still mods for that. It's just if there's like servers that are hosted by individual people. They can kind of modify what they want, and then you just have to hop on the server, and then like, the mods kind of take effect there, kind of like that. So it kind of depends upon what Bethesda ends up doing. If they do make it like a Rust type game, if they have like unofficial servers or official servers and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but the bad thing about that is that people could get you know certain fucked up mods that are just way overpowered. You know, they they usually don't make it through to get into those type of into the. Um, official service, though. Yeah, but people find ways. Like I mean, how I've got millions of dongs on Grand Stato. True. I think if they do have a server system, it'd be something like it's going to check your files to make sure that you don't have anything malicious or like unfair installed. Like make sure you have, you know, only texture mods or something like that installed mm. as opposed to like mods that would actually affect gameplay, like infinite ammo or something like that. <laughs> Infinite ammo and um, God yeah. mode. Yeah, and infinite ammo, no reloads, just empty out millions of bullets without reloading. Good times. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like an action movie. 
It's like playing um, play, like playing uh, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, yeah. Just put on this bandana, and you will have. Inf- I never understood how that works. Yeah, never. it's like uh, the Fallout Four mods for the Never Ending, uh, um, legendary mod, where you can literally just. Yeah. It's great. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> I've used that one too. Especially if you have like a uh, an automatic. Oh yeah, if you got the Never Ending mod and you're not using automatic, I don't know why you even have that on that gun. Come on. <laughs> exactly. You just walk around the wasteland and never stop shooting. Eventually, everything will die. Yeah, as long as you're uh, not going to run out of ammo. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's what uh, cheat terminal is for. You just give yourself more. True, <laughs> true. I have like 12,000 bullets for all my guns because I just sit there and click, 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 click. You know, it's just... I will say this, though. If it is a regular game and not a based game, um, I will do what I do with every every game I play. I will play it through without cheating. Oh yeah, that's what you gotta yes. do. You gotta play it through the first yeah. time with no mods, nothing on it. Second yep. time, well, then, mod the hell out I, of I it. Talk to, I talk to a lot of people and they play, they like, a couple friends of mine got Fallout 4 after mods came out. And they're like, yeah, I've been playing those mods and this, this game is, this makes it so interesting. I'm like, did you beat it before you did it? Oh no, I just started with mods right away. I'm like, you're a true gamer. Yeah, I mean, I would do the same thing. I would play the game, like, old natural first, and then play with mods. You play to have fun, and then you play to have fun in a different way. Oh, yeah, and then you install all the, uh, the nudie mods and all that fun stuff. <laughs> well, it, it, um, as you know, plagging, because me and him, of course, we're running around with ponies in our game. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, God, uh, I just realized what I said could sound dirty in so many ways. Uh, you know, oh, no, what he said. It was... Uh, it's like the Playboy Mansion. You play around, and then you play around in... <laughs> Indeed. Yes. God. I mean, right. I wish they did. Well, do we have anything else for Fallout 76? Because the video's running we're about so- an hour now. Yeah, man, we haven't talked for a while. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I think it's because we go off track. Yeah. We do. Alrighty, well, I guess we'll go ahead and end things here, everyone. Thank you all for tuning in, and if you got any speculations or any other information about Fallout 76, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Until next time, everyone, we'll catch you all later. Bye now.